Hello, this is Rondoman. Just uh, have my uh, setup I was using last night outside here in the office. And it's currently looking at Intel Sat 5. There's not much movement there, but you can see the satellite right on the wall there. Anyway, here's the scope I was using last night. You can see the Yukon Night Ranger up on top with its uh, video output and power cable. Um, and it's used as the finder scope and it's an infrared mode for detection. And so you can see a lot of stars and satellites with that baby. And then uh, toward the rear of the scope here is the webcam. It's a Philips uh, SC900NC uh, planetary webcam and it's had the lenses removed so all it's got is the chip uh, looking through a um, two times Barlow lens so that du doubles your magnification and then into the regular me diagonal piece right there okay and this webcam is a USB based webcam so it feeds right into a USB port on the laptop. Um, the only other thing here, um, this telescope also has a port, USB port for hooking to your computer. So you can control um, the computer, uh, the telescope from the computer. You can point at stars on the computer's uh, star map and the telescope will go to them. And uh, then it's got its own uh, display here. So you can select what satellites you want to look at if that's what you would choose to look at. It's, I have it selected for Intel Stat 5 just because I have it on the wall. And then it has a hand control unit right here uh, where you can control the telescope up and down and do every, all the other kinds of stuff. Uh, in the bottom is an Eclipse camera right here which points out that's used for star alignment and uh, the focus knob is right here it's a manual focus soon it'll be electronic um, anyway that's my setup uh, that I used last night uh, which you'll see a video of here in a little bit okay uh, that's Ronda Man and uh, this is what I've been I'm going to be testing here for the next few weeks to see if it can track satellites. Okay, goodbye. Oh, and have a happy holiday.